All right, so in my live stream last night, someone came in and mentioned a technique that I don't really utilize all that much, but you guys might find useful. So I want to share it with you right here. It's really quite simple. So uh, when you first get into sub-D modeling, you might have realized that if you take a shape that's something like this, go into edit mode, select everything, control B and bevel, and then you mouse wheel up once, uh, you might be able to do something like this. It creates these kind of little corners, right? And so... You could take this and press Control 2 and subdivide it. As long as it was a quad mesh to begin with, usually you won't have any problems as long as those bevels all lay out appropriately, right? Shade it smooth real quick. Right. Now, this is like a non-destructive version of this. Basically it's the same thing though. So what we're gonna do is apply a bevel modifier. Okay. And you can see we can adjust the amount here. Hold shift to get a little bit of a finer transition between the, the sizes there but you see it's almost doing that now we can change the segments up to one we got basically the same thing going on now however if we go over to profile here we can actually change the profile and do this number right and uh, if you haven't set wireframe to a hotkey just right click there assign it to a hotkey so you can turn those on and off it's going to help quite a bit you can see what's going on here now and uh, so just like before this is actually going to subdivide fairly well Okay, so if we do a subdivision surface below it, bump it up, shade it smooth, there we go. Just like that, there, okay? Now, this is where it really kind of separates itself from doing it manually, because we can adjust all of these individually from each other. So you can think of this amount as like the maximum of how, how far you want everything to be able to um, be beveled, right? The max. So when you're in edit mode, you press the N key, you'll bring up here this little side panel. You'll see that you have edge data as mean bevel weight. Well, we can change the limit method here in this modifier from uh, angle to weight. All right, so right now no weights are assigned, but if we were to start assigning weights, I'm going to take the whole shape and do this to press A, and I'm going to hold shift while dragging. You see, we can fine-tune adjust that quite a bit, just like that, right? And so a little bit better because now we can go around grab certain sections like this and we can put that up to full strength there right now we can do things like that maybe we'll turn this one full strength so that's soft maybe this one's soft too there All right can end up with some weird topology though so you see some places like to dip in and do some stuff like that so be careful while using this it's really good for certain kinds of hard surface shapes, but um, certain times you might not want to use this as well. For overall uniform stuff, though, I think it's pretty awesome. In that case, you wouldn't even need the, the weights there. You just do it with the bevel modifier, but uh, that gives you that little bit of extra control, right? So you can make full use of this. Then um, once you're done with something, if you're doing like the basic starting shape, you can just convert to a mesh. Maybe not that one. Turn the subdivision down a little bit. Let's try converting to a mesh. Okay. There you go. So, a little bit of a stretch to all these faces here. So, you know, you still want to probably square things up a little bit more. Before you convert it to a mesh. So they'll, they'll come out a little bit nicer. Those are still too elongated, but... Uh, this will be a better starting point if you're going to do any more additional modifications to this. And you can certainly try to repeat that process. Nothing wrong with that. Back in the day, seeing creases or something like this, uh, I wouldn't do because you couldn't transfer very well between different softwares. The holding edges were a little bit more useful, but a lot of this stuff can actually be transferred now. I'm not real sure about the bevel weight itself, but I know creases can, so something you can afford it. Normal here real quick. So that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to kind of show you that little trick. Hopefully you can put it to use and uh, Make some cool stuff with it, right?
So there you go. Have a little bit of fun with it. And uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Take care, guys.